Okay. Hi, scholars. This is Miss Silas. It's spring break. Pretty fun. We're doing face painting around here, and I hope you're doing some fun things too. I wanted to show you the last step of um, mandala art here, the symmetry creature mandala art. And I wanted to make sure that before you go on to this next step that you finished your mandala. So I just want to show you what I mean. Um, on this, so I did my, I'm going to count my lines. I have one dashed loopy thick, dashed loopy thick, that's three. My cursive line, that's four. My dots with the, uh, my circles with the dot inside, that's five. Six is kind of this, this castle line, and here's a squiggly line. And then on the outside, I did three more stripes. So I didn't, I wasn't able to get 10 actually, and you might not be able to, but that was probably because my creature was pretty big. So what you want though, is to fill up your whole square. Now, if you'll remember, your square does not have this um, black line around the outside. And so right now, once you have filled up your entire square, I'm gonna invite you to erase this line, okay? So now what you'll have is um, what's called an implied line because what will happen, I'm gonna go get my other one that does have an implied line. Um, what will happen is that your um, squiggly lines and your lines that you created will go all the way to the edge of your square. They'll fill in the entire thing. So this is one that has an implied line. So you can't really see this line because I didn't draw it. But, um, but if you could see it, you'd see that there is still a pencil line here. So you want to go over that with an eraser and just erase that part. Okay, so it's just like a fun sort of what we call an implied line. It's funny, I did a similar creature here, Jen and I. Um, and so now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, we talked about how this has movement and rhythm. And I wonder if you can see the rhythm. So if you were in the classroom, I would say, show me a part that looks like it has some rhythm to you, okay? And I bet some of you might find this, right? That squiggle, that loopy line seems to have some rhythm, almost like a song, right? Okay, and then I also think that some of you might say there's this rhythm, like, right? And that movement kind of creates, a, 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 the artwork kind of creates a movement of moving out, right? So I want to point that out. Okay, so now I'm going to go in like this, okay, and show you how we're going to do the border, okay? So we're going to try and keep the border symmetrical. That means that it's a mirror image on both sides, okay? Not like this, but like this, okay? And... Um, Eden, I'm going to say that what you can do is find some things around the house. Eden found um, some uh, pieces in a magazine that could work. Or this, I have some scrapbooking paper that could work. I also found some wrapping paper. This is nice and... This is nice because I can find some um, symmetry, some lines of symmetry in those, okay? And so I can cut those out and I'll show you what I mean in a second, but there's some, that one's good. That one's good because there's definitely symmetry in this one. And these are actually like little mandala pot patterns, right? So that's fun. And this is also fun because it's shiny. So whatever you have, but I was gonna say like this is not as good because mm -hmm. It's hard to put that on there in a symmetrical way, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, the other option you have is if you would like to do stickers. And if you had some stickers that could be cut in a symmetrical way, like the line of symmetry on this guy would be right down the middle, right? Okay, the line of symmetry on this one 
yeah, like Delphine is showing me right now that this little guy, he's kind of symmetrical. We could do it like that, but he's, but not totally, he's not totally symmetrical, but like this kind of sticker is totally symmetrical. So I will let you guys kind of figure out what you might have around the house. You might want to go ahead and pause the video now so that you can go find some stuff. All right, so what I have next to me here, as you guys might know, I forgot to put glue sticks in the bags. Um, so what I have is some white glue, like Elmer's, and then I just, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water, like kind of like the same amount of glue and water, and then I'm just gonna mix it up. Okay, and when I'm done with this, I'm gonna wash my brush out really, really well because glue in a brush will ruin it, okay? All right, have that ready. I have my scissors and I have some wrapping paper. And so what I'm gonna do on the border, Eden, what I'm gonna do on the border is similar to what I did with my creature, which is I'm going to create some symmetrical shapes. So I'll show you how I do this. I can do it a couple of ways, like one way, is that I can just take a piece of paper and I can fold it in half like that. And then I make like a shape that's kind of a cool shape, right? And then when I open it up, I have it like that and I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I'm gonna put if I put it here, then my line of symmetry would be here. And I'll put this one here. If I put it here, then my line of symmetry would be here, right? And I'll put it here, okay? So um, you can either, I also like play with it. Like for example, maybe I'm gonna put that here or I could put it here, right? With the line of symmetry here. So that's, that's up to you. So I'm gonna just lay out my shapes um, on this thing in a few different ways and see where I get. Um, maybe I'm gonna do like that. I cut out some of these little circles that are not exactly symmetrical, right? Those are two different sizes, but that's okay. I'm gonna try it like that. And maybe these ones are not exactly the same, but kind of the same idea. And then my line of symmetry would be there. Okay, and what else? Oh, I like these shapes because you will notice that what I'm doing before anything is I'm just laying it out to kind of get a good idea. And then I can say like, oh, I want to switch that, right? I actually want this to go here or Wait, are those winter. I'm doing a video right now, okay? All right. So maybe I want to do this like this, and then I would have to change this like this, right? Okay, like that, okay. And then, let's see. Ooh, I like these shapes, but I wonder if I have some more of them. Oh yeah, I do, I made some of these shapes. I think I kind of like these going with this crown shape, I like that, something like that. Does that look good, Delphine? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? I'm gonna use a couple of these stickers. I think I cut a couple of these stickers in half already. Um, this owl I used, maybe I'll do like this. Yeah, you guys got your own glue right there. I already put some water in it too, okay? So I don't know, we got a pretty good pretty good thing going on here. Um, do I need any more? Maybe, maybe I do want more. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Let's see, I don't think I want that. I think instead I want that. Let's see if I have another big one. Oh yeah, this one's pretty good. Something like that. I like that. 
What do you guys think? Is that good? Yeah. You like that idea? Oh, and I like this too, so. I'll do this. Hmm, what could I do? What could I do here? Maybe I'm gonna layer these. That would be pretty good. I think I feel like I'm making it kind of elaborate here. Ooh, yeah, I like that. <clears throat> then I guess if I'm gonna do the line of symmetry, it would be here. I'm gonna layer that like that. Okay, now, um, let me show you when we do our gluing, we make a little space, right? And I'm gonna use not, I'm not gonna glue on top of this paper, right? Instead, I'm gonna use a yucky paper and I'm just gonna glue it on. I'm gonna turn this over. So I like watering down the glue because then it makes it nice and runny and easy and it doesn't get too much glue on it. And I get it to all the spots on there, okay? And I'm just gonna stick it on there, one by one, like that. And you can see I'm spreading glue beyond the sides.